Hello everybody. Hello YouTube. Remember in the last episode that we got the bushes out and it was an absolute pain? I said in the next episode we're going to put the new bushes in. Well it's the next episode <laughs> and we're not putting the new bushes in. I've realised that the bushes that I've got are like this. They go in two halves and they go through. My bushes or my sleeves in here they have a nice lip at the bottom on each side see and i sat there thinking how the hell is that going to go through on each side turns out there's another sleeve there's two sleeves so i think the other one you have to knock out from the bottom but when i tip this up it starts leaking out diff oil so i've just taped these off so hopefully that holds it it's literally just dripping so it should hold it but if i pull this up uh, stress it on the jack there Look, you see, there's another sleeve. So I have to whack it this way and get that sleeve out. And I'm guessing all this lip comes up and out. Now I pray that this stops the give up soil, the diff oil leaking out. So I don't really want to lose much more oil. And I'm hoping it's sturdy enough here so I can whack it out. But all that whacking last night, we've got to do it all over again. We've got to get this sleeve out as well so similar technique just absolutely go out one side and keep twisting it so go flat to get it out a bit then go straight like that to kind of sharp through it like cut through it and it is coming so you can actually see there it's uh it's coming out there it is them are the ones that look a little bit easier to do than, than these ones but once you get these sleeves out now you've got to be careful because this is actually like it's so thin there this side of the subframe so it's kind of bending it back so i'm gonna have to hammer it somewhat circular but should be okay let's just get these bastards out and there we go that is the second sleeve so we well these are actually the big ones so these actually only have one sleeve in but on these ones they've got two sleeves so they've got that sleeve and these so I'm guessing that's like the main subframe sleeve and then people just press the new buses in. So you've got two sleeves, absolutely a joke really, but they weren't that bad to come out these bottom ones. So um, they're ready to go now. So that's just a, a hole and my pushes should just push straight into that one. So these come as well. So I found the best way is to do a flat bit. So you get a bit here picking out and then cut it. Cut it and then flat, cut it and then flat. Push it out, cut it, push it out, cut it. And that kind of just makes the whole thing weak. So just accept that you're going to mess up the walls a little bit. And that's just going to happen. So hopefully you can get in there with a wire brush and make it as soon as possible. But there we go, another one out. So they're actually coming out quite, quite easy actually. So it's getting there with some sandpaper, wire wheel, trying to get as smooth as possible. But if you concentrate to one area and just do this, then it's the best you're going to get. So good news is i've got them all out which is good news bad news is that since i had it on its back this um the that oil return coolant thing uh has broke so i remember jake saying just blank them off because a lot of times they don't work or well yeah they don't work anyway so a lot of people saying just blank them off and my thing isn't even plugged in so i've got a nice get a spanner over this one and i'm just gonna undo it and hopefully I've got a bolt big enough that will uh, that will go in there. And I'm gonna blank this one off as well because, well, a bit of blank one, I've got to do the other. So let's just blank them off. Wait, this isn't a thread. It's just pressed in. And what the fuck is this, guys? Seriously, what the fuck, what the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what to do now. Is it literally just pushed in? I'm pretty sure that is literally just pushed in. Oh, bollocks. I wonder why it stopped threading out at one point. I thought, oh God, is it rounded? But no, it's not even a bolt, mate. Okay, so I'm just cracking on getting the bushes in so we can deal with that tomorrow. That's a bolt, so that's easy to fix. I don't have, I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> a little bit of research, but let's get all the bushes in. So I've just put some grease around the inside of here. And you literally just, sometimes you've got a hammer in, but these literally just, they just push in. Push in. A little bit of grease on the dowels and just bang them down. Um, but yeah, let's get them on. And these are just big washers. So these are just big washers to where you bolt them. It just obviously it just spreads the load. There we go. All the bushes in. Can't believe how easy it is to get them in versus how easy it is to get them out. 
<laughs> there we go, huge thank you Paul Flex, you're the, you're the geezers. That's gonna, I cannot wait to feel what it feels like like this. But we need to figure out a way of what we're gonna do with this. Right, I've decided I'm gonna blank these things off. I spoke to Nico and he doesn't know what the hell it is in this S14s and S15s and none of them come with this diff oil cooler. <coughs> <coughs> so, it's the next morning peeps. We're cracking on with this. Obviously we got the subframe bushed in last night. Um, what I did, I found a bolt. Um, I have decided just to delete all this uh, cooler. It's, it's a diff cooler. I decided to delete it, but I am just gonna keep it on the car because I've got things that are like used in the same brackets as the lines. And if I take off the car, I'm gonna have to just put it somewhere else inside. So I'm gonna just keep it on the car. I don't weigh much. It doesn't get in the way of anything. I'll just keep it on the car. Uh, and I can use it for future use then. But, Instead of trying to get this fixed today, this little pipe, I found a bolt which had the same end. See the the pushing bit. So I just grinded the bolt off to the same size. Just elongated the washer bit because it was a bit too big and just whacked it in. So there we go, that's covered. So now I just need a bolt for this. Then go back in the car really. But this thread is quite uh, quite a nice size. It's like an it's like an M12 1.25. So it's quite a fine thread, but it's quite a big bolt. So I've not got any bolts that'll fit in there. So I'm going to have to just go and get another bolt for that. But while the subframe's off, I'm just coming in and I'm just cleaning up some little bits of like first surface rust on the chassis. So as I said here, uh, I've just got a, got a drill and a wire brush and just just cleaned it up. And you can see the uh, you can see the rust converter working on the metal now. It's, you can see it's absolutely solid. It just didn't like the way it looked. There's a bit on the other side here as well where it's had some welding done in the past, um, but it's um it's looking a bit cruddy you sort of plate welded in here i can see it um it's absolutely solid but it just looks a bit crap not gonna lie so i've got the drill on it there and i've uh, just basically just cleaned it all up so well it's still a bit dirty there let me clean it and show you so you can tell the plates and welded in let's give it a quick clean off all here The plates are welding, you see by the shitty welds. I mean, it's not the nicest, it's not the cleanest one in the world, but it works and it's solid, so I'm not too bothered. But I've just been going up here around this subframe mount as well. And while we've got a little bit of time, I'm just putting some rust converter on and then we'll just put some under seal on it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing before we put this back in because I'm not gonna bolt, so I gotta to go to a shop and get a bolt. And I don't really want to be taking the subframe off anytime soon again. So let's just coat it while we're here. Okay, so just got a nice, coat it with a nice bit of under seal there and over the side as well. So preventative measures, guys. That's what makes the difference. Just get an M12 1.25 volt, same size as that. Get it in. And then once the under seal's dry, because I need to wait till it's properly dry because I've got it on the mounting bits. So I need to make sure it's proper dry. Otherwise it's just gonna just ruin the rubber. Um, so leave that for a few hours and then put the subframe back on and then that's one more job done but i've got a lot of things to do today so i'm not entirely sure if it's going to be up and ready today so let's just see how the day goes on i'm gonna have to wing it okay i found the bolt not easily guess where i found the bolt not in bnq bnq decided to not list um their thread their thread pictures it's just m12 and the length of the bolt that's it i'm like well that's an m.5 so cheers bnq um I just thought, fuck it, I'm done, I'm doing it another day. I've been looking around, can't find any. Uh, and I've just looked in the side here, and there was an M12 1.25 bolt. I had to cut it down a little bit, so I've uh, shaved this much off. Um, and now we have a bolt. We are plugged, yay! We've got one here, so now we've put it back in, but we can't because, 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 because because the under seal's not dry. But yeah, I need to let that dry. I need to go shopping and buy some shoes. So depending on what time I come back, if that's dry, I might put it in there, but I've also got to be leaving the house at seven o'clock late because I'm going for a drink. So, I might do it in the morning. Right, what's up gangsters? We're back. We're back and well, I'm going out tonight. So let me get my gloves on. Let me get my gloves on. Oh, fire, we're gonna. Okay, we're back and everything is dry. You can see where I put way too much of it on. <laughs> uh, but it's all dry, it's like really dry actually. So let's get this fucking subframe back on, honestly. Let's take this masking tape off. I did mask these off. Oh my God, I'm so buzzing to have this on. 
this is like a job that's like needed to happen since like literal day one like literally day one excited, excited, excited. <sighs> i'm just annoyed it's got a, the oil leak now the oil leak isn't that bad like it's not bad enough to not drive but i just can't really drive it that far so i'll be able to drive it like around the block and see uh see if the knocking stopped well it's fucking better have honestly but the one thing about these cars is that they literally don't have any diff bushes like the only bushes they have on the whole subframe are the um as subframe ones so that diff is just bolted to the metal subframe so no fucking wonder those bushes were fucked but so excited let's get this on i've actually found out that i can actually lift this as well i did think how the hell am i gonna get it on properly but if you lift it side by side and you stop being a bullwhip um you can actually lift it on i'm very excited for this head cam incoming the trick to lift it on the jack is one side at a time <laughs> That is the trick. And we're going to get it right in the middle. So not like that where it's leaning forward. So that's going to be a bitch to get on. But just where it's kind of like sitting flat. And it's not kneeling to one side. So perfect. I don't think it should be too difficult. Might be a bit of a pain trying to... Uh, line up the coilovers and stuff but ah oh, well see i'm like way off already so let's come back out are we in there i think that's about right actually if you try and aim you can see that one over there in the corner let's try and get that one in okay this is where we cover two people get rolling this one's almost in I think it's leaning, leaning back a bit. To be fair, if I get worn in, then these rest should kind of straighten themselves out. Stop filming, boys, until I'm somewhat in the right spot. It's come back a bit. Okay, so the trick is you don't want to have it sitting flat on the jack. You want it arching forward a bit and aim these two to go in first, these two big back ones. It sits in nicely. So that, oh shit, well this one's a bit off. I might just be able to just tap this off, it might just be able to. So that needs a bit, take this off a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle on that side. side. That side's knocking out the, the middle bearing as well. So let's see what's, what's going on in here. one isn't like it it's not like it this one either it's kind of sitting a little bit off and the power flex kit comes with these and they're just basically big washers so put them on there there's your washer and your bolt and you're good to go so right at the back of the subframe here this little bit of the subframe is getting in the way of the bush a bit and the bracket or and the washer so i've just literally just got a hammer and just had to just uh just persuade this bit out of the way a little bit just so it'll sit flat just so the washer will get on it as well so it's all in i had to use like the standard mount on that one because it's a bracket but this one uh, i put the washer and then the standard thing because i wasn't going to i was just going to use the the nut um but the threads weren't actually that long so with this um it just made the it just gave me a little bit more thread to tighten down and we're in and we're tight everything's on everything's bolted up i'm gonna take it for a spin but we need to put the brakes back on brakes back on put the exhaust back on put the diff back on and just change these as well uh hopefully i've got a nut uh a replacement nut for this side because the nut here for the coilover bolt is not in good condition okay everything seems to be on brakes are on which is a bit of a faff so basically i tightened the whole subframe up against one of the handbrake cables i had to drop the subframe again not all the way but just lower it pull the handbrake cable tighten it 
And then I couldn't get the caliper because now the, the subframe is sitting higher. I couldn't get the calipers because obviously where I've cable tied into the spring, I couldn't get it through the arms. So I had to take this, I had to take up the bottom coil over, drag it down. It's been a bit of a pain, but everything is back on. So all we need to do now is just put the prop shaft back on, which I hope I can get on because I've only got, like I say, I've only got one 14 millimeter. Um, so I hope I can get a spanner on one side and then a ratchet on the other um, prop shaft. Um, and then exhaust and then we're pretty much done. So yeah, we're getting there lads. I'm absolutely knackered. I've got half an hour for I need to go and get ready. So let's see how much we can get done. So here's the prop shaft bolts. I'm just turning around. Uh, it's quite awkward because you've got to, you can't put the bolt all the way through, otherwise the nut don't go on. So you've got to kind of push it away, put the washer on, put the nut on and then push the bolt through. There's not much space. But I'm hoping that if I look here, the nut kind of touches there, the bolt kind of touches there, which should hopefully stop it spinning. So it means I could just tighten it with one 40 mil spanner. That's what I'm praying, but I've got one more to put in here. Yeah, so as I hoped, the nut, the bolt actually kind of wedges itself against the prop, so you don't actually need to tighten that down. A good way to tighten these properly, because obviously you can't tighten them proper fully, because obviously the prop just spins. But an uh, easy way would be to put the handbrake on each time, but I think I was going to wedge a screwdriver in here because they weren't that tight before. I'm, I'm, they're already tighter than they were before, um, and obviously the prop didn't fall off. So I'm just going to wedge a screwdriver in here for like leverage um, and then tighten it like that. Now I've got shit everywhere. But there we go, boys. Prop is on, diff is on, um, exhaust is on, everything is back together. The thing is blocked. Let's get the wheels on quickly and go for a spin. Right, once again, it's the little things that are causing the biggest issue. I can't take for a drive, not got time. The little 10 mil bolts that hold the handbrake cable down to the subframe have just been shit. They're not threading in um, and I ain't got time. So it's gonna be a pain to get the car down anyway. I've got to like jack the car down on two jacks because it's so low. Um, but I'm not gonna end this video here. In the morning, I'm gonna come take it out for a drive. So gonna be a few minutes for you or a few seconds for you for me i'm gonna go and get drunk well not drunk a couple of drinks but yeah literally not even drunk i literally like a drink okay guys it's next morning i've just uh i've put everything back on so now everything is tightened up the handbrake cables are on everything's back on i jacked the car down. i had a bit of a scary moment I, I didn't have any gear or the handbrake on and it basically rolled forward and hit this now it like fucking cracked a bit of the fiber it, it nothing there's no damage but like it, um, basically long story short, it kind of like misaligned off the thing, but I've actually spent about an hour tidying up. So now it's like way sturdier. So I've actually put bolts in this side properly as well. So that's way sturdier. So it's actually good, did that. Let's take it for a drive. I've not started it or driven it in very long. I've checked the oil, we've still got a load of oil. So that oil leak, although it looks bad, it's actually not that bad because we've still got full oil. So let's go for a drive i'm so excited to see what it feels like every time i've driven this car it's felt like the back end's about to fall off this is a big moment because after this there's not really much we need to do other than sort the oil leak so we're gonna get a little bit of noise from the diff but it should not be fucking knocking all over the place Oh yes, no knocks, it's a good start. I mean, there's no knocks. No big knocks, obviously there's still some knocks because, I mean, it's a welded diff and I've got a boot full of shit. But there's no like skipping, left in the rear end, like knock, 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 knock. Like, it actually feels so much better. I feel like it's ready for ascend. Like, I actually feel like it's ready for ascend. <laughs> this one's just going to the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> It's like freaking the car out, like seriously freaking the car out. I don't know what the throttles are at all. 